Go ahead and hop up there. I'll show you exactly what to do. I have wet shoes, though. That's all right. It's a boat. <laughs> okay. The first thing you do is you flip the seat forward. It's this here. Flip this guy up. And then open that console underneath there. All right. Now you see on the back, there's a switcher right there. It says battery one, two, and one and two. You can switch it to either one. Just switch it where it's pointed to uh, either one. Just put it on one or two. Right here? No, the red thing. Oh. There you go. Switch it. There you go. Okay. Now we have power. So put this down and push that back down. Okay. Now we flip the seat back up. And this should power us up. Now, what I want you to do is show all the options working on it. So the first thing we're going to do is go through the options that are on the boat. So let's just hit the seat, and let's see the button of the horn button. Yeah. Will you press that? Go ahead, press it. <laughs> first time you press it, it turns on the switchboard. And now that the switchboard's on, now everything else comes on. So tap it a couple times so you hear the horn working. Here's our horn. Now, above the throttle right there, you see there's two things that says Lenco on it. Yes. All right. Now on the left side one, push push it and hold it. Push it one direction. I don't know. Push one. That's the other side. Let me go over here. Okay, do it again. Do it, do it the other do it the other way. Okay, do it down the opposite again. Okay. Now do the other side. No, no, the uh, the other switch of the two. Oh, my bad. Okay, can I go the other way? Okay, that's good on that. Now, on this guy. Okay, obviously this works. Now, on the side of the throttle, which this is the throttle here, this is all the throttle and the shifter, there's a button on the side of it. See the button? Yeah. Push that up and down. Okay, and go the other way. Okay, now go back down with it. Okay, all right, there you go, you're good. Now, on the side of the steering wheel, let me walk around so I can show it. And the, yeah, the, see the, the lever that says trim? Yeah. Now, push that up. Go ahead, you just keep on pushing it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it raises the engine up so you can go in thin water. Keep on going up. Right now we're at three inches. Four inches, five inches, six inches. That's as high as it goes. Six inch lift. You see the, the over there where it says how many inches? That's a high lift engine. All right, we're gonna take it back down. And that'll let us go back in deep water. Okay, now let's go to the uh, buttons on here. Okay. Uh, push the. Uh, you see where the button is below the horn that says one. And it says, you know, push that on the left side. Now, it's not going to really do anything because we won't be to hear it running. But that is our forward, uh, forward live well. And then hit it again. Let me see. If, let me see if this light will show it. Okay. Now, hit it, hit it again for the camera. That's okay. That's off. It's forward. And hit it again. And that's okay. Now, on the other side of that button, you see where it shows that hourglass? Yeah. There's a timer. We can adjust how long it runs for. And off. And off. And then we got our navigation lights. Now, let me hop down and show that they're on. That button turns on the lights. Okay, you want to hit that button again and shut them off for me? Okay, you see they're clear LEDs. Okay, now what do we have below that? That's that's the aerator there. You can click it and we can let it light up, but we won't be able to hear anything. Let's see if I can. Okay, all right, go ahead and turn it off now. And then there's a spot to the left. You hit the button to the left of that. That's in. That's lights. All right, turn it off. Now, A1, go ahead and hit A1. 
Now, I believe A1 is this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Alright. Now, go ahead and hit A1. Let's turn it off. And that shuts that down. Okay, now A2. Hit A2. I can't remember what A2 was. I think it was... Radio? I don't remember. It was something. It's a water pump or aerator. Alright, go ahead and turn it off. And now let's do A3. That's a bilge pump running. Okay, let's turn that guy off. And A4, I believe, is the stereo. Yeah, it is. VHF. It also has a VHF built into it. Auxiliary. Satellite radio. Alright. Okay, you want to steer that back and forth for us? The speaker's JL audio. Okay, go ahead and turn that steering wheel back and forth. Yeah, that's all we want to show. Okay, that's good there. Now, we're going to start this thing, but I'm gonna run and hook a water hose up. Will you put that in the ignition spot? It's right there beside the radio. Okay, and beside that, you see the little tab beside it? It's called a lanyard. You see the uh, the red, the thing on the end of the red there, the black piece on the end? That plugs underneath that. Push it right up in there. Now, we have power. Now, don't turn it on yet, because we need to have water to this engine. So let me bring the water hose over here. Give me one minute. Okay, here, will you hold this and aim this for me right here? I'll show you something. On, on newer boat engines, you have this. You actually unthread this, and this is what puts water into them. In the older boat engines, you had a thing called a foot that the hose put clamps on the bottom, and the water pump sucked it up. Hold that right there and I'm turning this water on. Okay. Alright, so you handed me this back and I'm gonna let you fire it up. Okay, now, when you turn that key to the right, all right, push the key in a little bit, just push against that, it actually chokes the engine. But you probably won't have to choke this engine. So turn the key on one click, and that's ignition on. Now turn it on, it'll fire up. Just, let it, just go ahead and let it run. What I want you to do. You're gonna you're gonna take this right here and you're gonna grab it and you're gonna barely click it up just a little bit. And, and then when it clicks up, it's gonna go, it's gonna get a little louder. It's gonna the engine's gonna rev up. And then we're gonna put it back in neutral. I just want to show that it shifts. Okay. All right. Now pull it. Give it a little gas. more. 
Mark, give it all to God. Okay. That was good. Now bring it in the middle, which is neutral. Okay, let it sit there. Very good. Okay, now pull it back just a little bit. And we're going to click it another way. A little bit. There we go. Okay, now go back to the middle. Alright, you can see it's peeing good. Let me click this gear and show them. camera for this. Okay, all right, go ahead and shut it off. That's turned right there. And there we're off. Now go ahead and turn it one more time. Let's start it. One more time. Okay, all right, go ahead and turn it off. Now the only other thing we haven't showed is the power pole. You know what a power pole is? Power pole is like an anchor, except you don't have to throw it down. This is the power pole. Okay, the power pole is right to the left there. See that? Yeah. Yeah, and I push on the, the downward spot on it. You gotta. Oh, let me help. I don't know if I can see it in the camera. Yeah, we're stuck in the dirt here. Okay, all right, go ahead and, and hit the button other way. Go ahead, just all the way up. Good, all right, one more time. Let's just start the engine. you shut down the boat you run a boat you run it through like that and it cleans out all the salt water because this is mainly a salt water boat when you're done you park it you turn off the power so let's flip the seat back up and shut the power off and you see the off position straight up voila very good there we go thank you very much couldn't have done it without you